We are working on an aspect of breast cancer that relates to mammographic density, which is one of the greatest risk factors for breast cancer. And what mammographic density uh, means is that at the tissue level, there's extra connective tissue or the protein collagen. And so we've been looking at how collagen helps to drive tumors to become more aggressive and to become to spread more rapidly and to occur more frequently. And we've used both mouse models and we've used human patient samples. And what we've discovered is that there is not only an increase in the amount of collagen, but we've discovered an actual change in how the collagen is organized that we call a collagen signature. And what we found is that this signature, which is aligned or straightened collagen, actually predicts patient outcomes. So if a, a tissue sample has this aligned collagen, the patient is three times more likely to relapse over the next 20 years. And so having a predictive marker like this is very useful to both patients and physicians. For very early breast cancer called carcinoma in situ, we know that two-thirds of the patients may not need very aggressive treatment at all, and yet we can't tell that two-thirds from the one-third that does need aggressive treatment. So if we can tell those two pa patient groups apart, we can both treat the one-third more uh, appropriately, and we can get the other two-thirds uh, to have less harmful treatment.